This is Kim Kuhn with breaking NASCAR news. NASCAR has acquired Winston-Salem Speedway Inc., the lessee of Bowman Gray Stadium. NASCAR will manage racing operations under the lease with the city of Winston-Salem. Here to discuss the acquisition is Ben Kennedy, NASCAR's Senior VP, Racing Development Strategy. Ben, this is exciting news. Why was this move so important to NASCAR? Yeah, thanks, Kim. And a very special day, uh, you know, as we take on the, the Lisa Bowman Gray Stadium, certainly such a storied and historic stadium. You know, dating back to NASCAR's roots and NASCAR's, um, you know, founding in the 1940s and 1950s of bringing Cup Series racing there and the Convertible Series all the way up until today. So a very special um, opportunity that started with a conversation I had with Greg Garrison a couple of years ago. Um, you know, a lot of uh, a lot of work on their side, a lot of work on our side to get to where we're at today. But really excited to be taking on uh, the lease of Bowman Gray Stadium and continuing to celebrate the history and nostalgia um, that that place holds uh, and protecting that in the future. You're kind of touching on it, but this facility holds a special place in NASCAR history. Every driver who has raced there, every fan who has been there speaks so fondly of it. But specifically, what does it mean to the France family? Yeah, it's really important. So, um, you know, I spent some time with Jim yesterday and he was telling all sorts of stories about him growing up there. What if you think about it? He was with his father, Bill Sr., as he was starting the sport. Um, you know, another a kind of special moment was when Bill France Jr., so his brother, um, actually met my grandmother, Betty Jane um, Zachary, who happened to be Miss Bowman Gray in 1957. So, and then I would say more so um, in the modern times and selfishly to be able to compete there as a driver in the RTE series. Anyone that's ever been there before, you can feel the excitement, you can feel the energy, you can feel the history as soon as you walk into the stadium. But then to actually go and compete there and win a race uh, and do donuts in the uh, in the football field, <laughs> I think they, they got a little bit angry with me after I did that. But uh, it was so special and you know to have Jim there and my mom there. Uh, was really neat. It was the first time that they got got to see me win a, uh, a domestic NASCAR race. So certainly a special place in our family's heart, a special place in the sports heart. And, uh, you know, we want to continue to uh, to protect that. The Cup Series has raced there in the past. Can we entertain the possibility that we might see a Cup Series race there in the future? Yeah, potentially. Um, you know, I, I certainly wouldn't rule anything out, um, and I'd be lying to say if we haven't talked about it before. We've talked about, um, you know, hundreds of tracks and crazy concepts under the sun. So, you know, as you think about the future, we've talked about, you know, how do we continue to have weekly modified racing at Bowman Gray? But, you know, do you potentially use it as a bit of a proving ground to test new technologies or new powertrains in between races? It's right up the street from the R&D center not far from a lot of our race team shops. So, um, you know, we've talked about different opportunities and, you know, different concepts of, you know, how do we use, almost use it as a bit of a proving grounds for um, different things we might test as well. Well, again, Ben, this is exciting news. Thank you so much for the time and congratulations on the acquisition. Absolutely. Thank you, Kim. For more information on this story and other NASCAR news, you can visit NASCAR.com.